Sophocles' Antigone, performed in 442 BC in democratic Athens, is truly a classic, a work that raises timeless questions that speaks across the ages and has indeed inspired civil disobedience across the centuries. But it's also part of Athenian democratic culture. That is, that it belongs in its moment, in the 440s, in Athens. What is Sophocles saying with this, with this play? The tragedies are part of the democratic conversation. They're part of a public culture in which the people are expected to rule, in which the people need political education. And Sophocles' Antigone is a great statement, indeed a great warning. The play sets up a contrast between Creon, who's a legitimate king, and Antigone, who refuses to obey his laws. Antigone says that his laws are not the same as God's laws. This sets up a contrast between the laws of God and the laws of man, and it has particular resonance in its moment in two ways. One, the play is a warning to the people of Athens. It's a warning to the people of Athens that a legitimate government is no guarantee that it will pass legitimate or just laws. In other words, Creon is a symbol for the Athenian democracy. Creon is a symbol for the people. And Sophocles is saying that just because a people have a legitimate right to rule doesn't guarantee that they will pass just laws. And so it's a warning to the Athenian people. It's a warning to the democracy to remember the laws of God, the eternal laws. But the play Sophocles' Antigone represents a statement in democratic Athens in a second way. The play The Antigone is a rebuttal to the philosophy of the sophists. The sophists raise the distinction between culture and nature and ask, is justice a part of nature or is justice simply a set of cultural conventions? Sophocles says that justice is objective, that it is part of the law of God, that there is a true justice and that it's grounded in religion. Remember the sophist said that we can't know about the gods. The play Antigone is a statement of traditional Greek religion. It says that there is a god, Zeus, and that his laws, his ordinances are true. The play is a warning against the excesses of the philosophy of the sophists. And in fact, Sophocles seems to be saying that the sophists are wrong and that the Athenians need to respect and remember their traditions. The play is, in effect, a defense of tradition. It says that traditional religion and traditional morality provide a grounds for thinking about justice. And in the unraveling of this tragic plot that ends in bloodshed and destruction, Sophocles is warning against those who would forget traditional morality.